Well, today is a big day in the Big Easy. It's Fat Tuesday, better known as Mardi Gras. Yeah, but because of the coronavirus pandemic, the city of New Orleans looks much different this year with parts of Bourbon Street closed and bars shut down. But as CBS 4's Jamie Wax explains, the people of New Orleans are coming up with creative and safe solutions for preserving their time-honored traditions. If you're not from here, you might think Mardi Gras is one big debaucherous party. But for most New Orleanians, Mardi Gras is a celebration of family, culture, and tradition. The Mardi Gras is about families and about people coming together. Barry Kern is third generation owner of New Orleans Kern Studios, the largest creator of Mardi Gras floats in the world. It's just natural that we would all come together and figure it out together. That's exactly what we did after Katrina. But we knew the people in New Orleans, they need this. We need this for our souls. That need sparked an idea, floats in the oaks. Instead of parades rolling by people, people roll by the floats from the safety of their cars. I think a lot of other places in the world would be a lot happier if they had celebrations and events like we have and where we all come together as a family. I'm talking everybody in New Orleans, rich, poor, black, white. We come together in this city like no other city in the world. The opportunity for revelry and maybe a touch of pandemic fatigue is bringing joy to young and old alike. I said, Mom, you yeah, were so much parade. And then when you heard they were going to put the floats here in the park, how did that make you feel? I was like, yay! <laughs> Kern normally employs hundreds of Mardi Gras artists. The pandemic has left many of them struggling. Very upsetting because you have people that work with us that are part of a team that has literally generations. We've had to lay off about a third of the folks. But Kern was able to keep some folks working when a new trend took off. Yearning for a way to feel connected, people began creating house floats, or Yardy Graw. Kern added music to this magical creation. Music uh, displays the spirit of Mardi Gras in a way that words can't actually. Percussionist Jason Marsalis is New Orleans cultural royalty, brother to musicians Winton, Branford, and Delfeo, and son of beloved pianist Ellis Marsalis, who died last year from COVID. I was honored to see that there was even a house float that honored my father. It's just another way of New Orleans celebrating Mardi Gras tradition. Marsalis finds special meaning in this year's carnival. This is an inspiration, and I think the inspiration is to persevere. New Orleans is hard to keep down. Once New Orleans reopens, we're going to do a party here like no place has ever seen. I will see you there. Absolutely. <laughs> Proof that even a parade that doesn't move can still have the power to move us all. Jamie Wax, New Orleans. <laughs>